Hey everybody, our two minute tip for today is a look at the quick and auto punch settings. This is used when you're recording or re-recording specific parts of a song. There's two ways to do this. One of them is to do what's called the quick punch. And if we look under record menu, allow quick punch is selected by default. And that just means that we push play at a specific time and then we switch into record mode and that any track that has the record option enabled, it will start recording. So let's make sure it's record armed, push play. Now I just put it into record mode by clicking record and put it out by pushing the play button. Now I want you to notice here that from the moment I started playing that it was recording so we can actually pull this over. Even if it wasn't recording into the track, it was saving all that information. We also have a different option we can do for this and that is this little button at the top in my tools. This is called auto punch. If you don't have this showing right now, then you can customize the control bar. Turn this on and it adds a little another red bar and you can set this anywhere you want. Now it's gonna start playing at the beginning of this. When it gets to the red, it will start recording and then it'll stop recording here. This is useful for very precise edits. So these are the two options for adding recordings, either doing it on the fly or setting it up using auto punch. Really awesome options for this. Okay, that's the two minute tip for today. Hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you tomorrow.